Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. I am Britt. The cameraman is the beard. Today's video is a crock pot recipe video. I am making cheesy chicken enchilada pasta. I used two chicken breasts, boneless, skinless, and I just cut them up into cubes. Once that's done, I'm going to add a cup of onion. You can use fresh onion or you can use frozen onion. It really doesn't matter. I just cut up an onion and use that. Then you will need, and this is optional, I used a fourth of a green bell pepper because I had a friend give us a pepper from her garden. You can use it or not. You can use whatever color pepper you want. It's really up to you. Then I'm using a large can of enchilada sauce, the red enchilada sauce. While I'm pouring the enchilada sauce over the chicken, I'm going to take the time to say that this is a collaboration video. This is Crocktober, and it's hosted by Tamara from Southern Life Everyday Life and Sammy from Managing the Maze. I will leave their channel links as well as the playlist description down in the um, description box. So check out the playlist. You guys will find tons and tons of motivation and it's going to be wonderful because the fall and the winter I use my crock pot all the time. I use it year round but mostly in the fall and winter. So if you need motivation please go check it out. Then I'm using a can of corn that I've already drained and taco seasoning. One the taco seasoning that I poured in is the equivalent to one package. If you guys want to see how I made that, I can do a YouTube short, Instagram reel, something like that. So you guys let me know if you want to see it. Then I used one cup of sour cream. Lastly, I'm using Mexican blended cheese. I'm not measuring this, guys. I'm going to say maybe two cups. I just kind of poured it in and went with it. Um, you can never have enough cheese. That's just my opinion. We absolutely love cheese. Once I get the cheese, we are just going to stir it really, really well. And then pop the crock pot lid on and cook it. You can cook this on high or low. And timing will, will vary based on your crock pot. I have a green crock pot, which you guys have probably seen in some of my videos, and that sucker is a beast. It doesn't take any time at all. So, and then this one takes a little bit more time. So, I cooked it on low for six hours, but you could cook it on high for probably four. Once it's finished, it will look something like this. It's just, it's creamy and it looks delicious. Then I'm going to add in a pound of penne pasta. You can use whatever pasta you want. It's completely up to you guys. This dish is kind of very, you can vary it and make it your own like most of my dishes. Once that's stirred really well, I'm just going to go ahead and plate it up. But before I plate it up, I want to show you these plates that I got. You guys, I got these from the Dollar Tree. They are so beautiful and they're thick and durable and I think the Dollar Tree did a good job for fall plates. Once this is plated I'm going to add some more cheese because what's cheesy chicken enchilada without extra cheese? Like I said we love cheese we eat a lot of it and then once the extra cheese is put on there we're gonna add some sour cream. Um, you can never have enough sour cream and then never have enough cheese but that's just my opinion anyways this is what it looks like plated up it may not look perfect but it was delicious I got compliments the beard said I had to make this again for him and here in a second you'll see monster he just wanted to say hi but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye